Hi, next to Rap Neighbors, it's Mario here again. How are you? You know, most of my posts involve electronics and that type of thing. Um, but I came across something this weekend that I think is really cool and uh, will make your life a little bit easier. For 20 years or more, I've been using a product called Gojo, which is just really a hand cleaner, okay? You'll find it in mechanic shops and that type of thing. And this will take pretty well anything off your hand. It's really gentle. It's non-toxic. And uh, I got bored this weekend, and I always look for things that I can use in alternate methods than they were originally sold for. So I looked at the Gojo and I thought, what else can I clean? So I decided a few things. Uh, I'm going to clean the inside of my oven, which everybody hates to do, and a few other really tough jobs that totally amazed me when I saw how well this stuff works. You can buy the Gojo at Princess Auto and other places. Uh, it's anywhere from six bo uh, dollars a bottle up to twenty dollars a bottle for the big jug, which is what I buy. Uh, keep in mind, don't buy the competitive stuff. There's Fast Lightning and Orange Lightning. I've tried those over the years, and they just aren't the same thing. Um, you know, I checked on the internet to see if other people were using this product for different reasons other than washing your hands, cleaning your hands, and no, I couldn't find anything. So the, uh, the bizarre character that I am came up with a couple of examples that you can use, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna clean most of what, uh, what you need to clean in life. Let's have a look. Welcome to the floor of my kitchen. Uh, as far as I know, there isn't anybody that likes cleaning an oven, and that certainly uh, would include me. So over the years, we've tried oven cleaners of all kinds, homemade remedies, and they only ever worked so well. Uh, I came up on this by accident. This is a Gojo hand cleaner. You can get it in a smaller bottle, but this is really incredible stuff. Um, it's not toxic, it has no fumes, and uh, it cleans like the Dickens. So let me show you uh, just exactly how that works. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick this up, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a little bit of Gojo hand cleaner and put it on top of this, uh, this plastic scrubbing uh, piece here. So give it a little bit of a light rub. Now this stuff seems particularly kicked on and I haven't tried this on here before, but I wanna see what it's gonna do. So I'm not really applying a heck of a lot of effort, but we are gonna give it a little bit of a, a scrub here and see what happens. And sure enough, it takes it out with almost no effort. We'll give the rest of the area a little wipe here. And that takes it out. So we'll get inside the oven and hopefully we can film a little bit better in there. Now I'm gonna take just a wet paper towel and we're going to uh, just wipe it clean and see what it looks like. Alright, so here's our wet paper towel, and look at that shine. It just cleaned it like nobody's business. Let's try it on the inside. Now, oddly enough, it's really difficult to uh, film inside an oven. I didn't realize that. But I'm going to do the best that I can here. So I'm going to put a little bit of Gojo hand cleaner on a plastic scrubber again. And these areas look like they've really got some buildup to them. I'm going to give them a big clean and let's see what it does. This big stain came out right away. Some of this may be embedded from years of use. Uh, people that owned the oven before, I don't know if they cleaned it that regular, but you can see that the bulk of this is coming out with very little effort on my part. Yeah, it's even taking out the hard crusted on stuff. So rather than film the whole oven being cleaned, even after a couple of seconds, you can see that Gojo has cleaned, cleaned the area. And uh, if we give it a wipe with the wet paper towel, other than a couple of spots that I didn't actually hit, you can see it's gotten the bulk of that up. Trust me on this. Gojo hand cleaner in your oven is a miracle. All right, this burner has been bugging me for a long, long time. I have tried every conceivable method known to man to see if we can get this burn mark off of here. Now, I don't know if it's possible or not, but I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, Gojo and a plastic uh, scrubber 
and let's see what it does because nothing else would take that off and we will see if this is going to do it look at that it is just taking that right out of there isn't that amazing and try a little bit here this stuff is incredible you really need to try this you know what it's it's not toxic uh, it smells good because it's orange and I would say like some of these are scratches in the coloring that they're not going to come out because it's a scratch but look at that it took the burn mark right out incredible so there you go Gojo a plastic scrubber will pretty well take off most anything that I've uh, encountered in uh, in top of a stove top or inside of an oven it's amazing give it a try so here we got a, uh, a rail inside of our toaster oven. And this thing has been a nightmare trying to get this clean. I haven't been able to get this off this rail. So let's give it a shot. Look at that. Once again, it's just peeling through the baked on, through the baked on grime. That is truly amazing. And believe me when I tell you, I've tried other things, a lot of remedies on the internet, but nothing really worked for me. And this Gojo has taken the bulk of it off. Some of it's hard to get at because it's kind of close together here and I don't really want to take the machine apart to do that but as you can see other than the part I can't reach this has just totally gotten rid of rid of the baked on grime so once again another victory for our friend Gojo This one has been bugging me for a long time. The previous owner liked to keep the humidity really, really high in the house that we bought. And uh, the unfortunate thing is a lot of the hinges on the doors are rusted because of that. Uh, maybe they were dripping water. That's how much humidity they had. And this rust has always bothered me. So I'm gonna see what happens. Let's see if Gojo can get rid of this rust. And look at that. It's taking it right off. Isn't that amazing? So another use for Gojo is cleaning rust off of metal. Who knew this was a thing? Come in here with a damp cloth and do a little bit better job after filming, but look at that. It took pretty well all of it off. There it is on the sponge. And I'm not really rubbing. I'm just giving it like a minimum amount of effort here. And look how shiny that is. All right, well, I'll be really impressed if this cleans this up. Uh, so the house was built in the 60s, and uh, about eight or 10 years ago, the previous owner cut a, uh, a backwater valve into the concrete in the basement. So it's a rough concrete, and it looks like the contractor who did the work used the spray paint to indicate uh, you know, markings to put that backwater valve in. Uh, typically, this kind of stuff is almost impossible to get out because it's impregnated into the concrete and it is spray paint after all. So let's give it a good healthy dose of our friend here, Gojo Hand Cleaner. And this time I'm gonna use a brush which is a little more conducive to rubbing. And let's see what we can get happening here. I don't know if this will clean this up, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I can already see something's happening because Yellow water is now appearing, or yellow fluid is now appearing on top of the concrete. And let's just see what this will do. I'm going to put a little bit more Gojo on there just to, just to say I did. And let's get that scrubbing a little bit more. So, like I said, this is yellow spray paint. And it's in a concrete which is really porous, almost impossible to get things out. Uh, oils are nasty trying to get out that type of thing and I don't know if you can tell this yet this is actually starting to take this out and I find that amazing because really folks this is a hand cleaner 
It is probably the best hand cleaner on the planet, but it's still a hand cleaner. So a little bit more rubbing. And let's take a moment and just wipe that down with a wet cloth and just see what we've got here. Look at this. Look at this. It's taken the bulk of it away on the initial, initial uh, cleaning. I'm gonna put a little bit more in this area here. And uh, maybe a little bit more here. And just finish off rubbing that in there. And again, you can see that paint lifting right out. It's sitting on top of the concrete. This is amazing. I've always hated this spot and I didn't know how to clean it. So you look at the bottom of the brush, it's gotten yellow. Let's take what's left of this wet rag and wipe that out. Well, I have to tell you, I'm shocked. A few more minutes. I don't know what this is. It could be a silicone. It doesn't want to come out. I'll try to scrape that later on. You have to admit, for a hand cleaner, this is amazing stuff. I mean, the bulk of the yellow is gone. I'm going to let it dry and then uh, carry on with it once I can see uh, after it's dry how much is left, but it's not very much. So go ahead, find a stain in your house and try the Gojo hand cleaner. Let us know how it works. So how cool was that, right? I mean, it doesn't really get much easier than that. You don't use much. Uh, you, it, you can wash your hands with it when you're done and uh, it's cheap. Uh, it doesn't harm your lungs like fumes do when you go to use an oven cleaner or any chemicals. And how about removing that paint? I mean, we're talking, you know, pretty well 10 years of spray paint in a porous concrete and it took it out like nobody's business. The other thing that I've tried and I didn't film is pre-treat for laundry stains. Oh my Lord, you really want to see this. Just put it onto the stain, put a couple dabs on it, rub the fabric together really good for a minute or so, and then let it sit overnight and go ahead and wash that thing. And you're going to watch it take out some of the most incredible stains that you've ever seen. So I hope you had fun and enjoyed it and learned something and uh, we'll see you around the neighborhood. Take care.